why something the craziest 300 miles in 24 hours? Oh. I think the last time I was on a bike prior to this challenge um, was when I was in sixth year at school, so about nine years ago. I wanted to do this challenge for MJ um, because I like to challenge myself and I think uh, pushing yourself to the limits for such a, a worthwhile cause is uh, yeah, definitely a thing that I want to do and I wanted to be involved in. I think there were a few tough moments during the challenge, um, two in particular that I can remember coming into Montrose and then coming into Dundee as well when you know, I told myself at the start of this challenge that I was never going to quit and I was never going to get into the van um, and at those points my legs felt like I was at the end of a sprint session on, the, on a, a gym bike and so I really felt like my legs couldn't move anymore. With all the messages, what was coming through for support, it was touching the heart actually, it was very emotional, it just kept the morale going in the team on the low times. The toughest moment for me during the challenge, I guess, I guess was trying to just keep everybody together and keep everybody motivated you know there were some real tough points that um, everybody had to dig in as a team just to get us through and so so maybe nothing as an individual but just everybody just trying to work together I think that's probably some of the toughest bits I think It just seems it's, it's really hard to get your head around how one cycle can can mean that a child is able to communicate with his parents for the first time. It's something that I've definitely taken for granted. Um, and you know, knowing that he might be able to, to communicate with his parents and other people for the first time makes the challenge seem so worthwhile. And uh, yeah, it just makes you you really really feel like you want to do as much as you can. And I'm just I'm just excited for the next challenge for MJ.